everyone, welcome back to another video at Whole Lot of Drawings where I like to teach you how to draw your favorite characters step by step. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. So uh, for today's video, we're going to be learning how to draw the character Tails. This is kind of a continuation from my previous videos of how to draw Sonic and Knuckles. So if you haven't seen those two tutorials, feel free to check those out as well if interested. I'll put the links in the description box down below. But for today's video, we'll go ahead and get started on drawing tails. So we're gonna start off with drawing different shapes and uh, lines as well to indicate where things are going to go on his body. So we're gonna start off with his head, which is just a basic circle. If you do need help drawing a circle, you can always grab a cup or anything that is round in order to trace. But for, uh, for today's video, I'm actually just gonna do it freehand, okay? So I'm gonna start relatively close to the top of the page here, and I'm gonna begin. That's what I like to do at least. I like to begin to try and practice the, the shape and then let my pencil touch the paper as I'm doing that motion. So I'm gonna draw a circle here. And then we're going to draw a small oval right underneath that circle for his body. Okay, two lines from right underneath that oval. And then for his arm, it is going to be bent. So I'm gonna draw a line from the oval here, sticking out, and then it will return right back to the oval. And try to make these lines light because these are sketch lines, so we're gonna be erasing them later. You don't want them to be too dark on your paper. Okay, and then the next line, we're just gonna go straight up, right out from that oval, because he's sticking his hand out. We'll draw a circle right at the end. Okay, and then we're going to draw his feet here. So it's gonna be an oval. kind of diagonal and then the other one is going to be slightly straight down like so okay so I did get a little closer so you can see uh, what I'm doing with his head so I'm gonna draw facial lines to indicate where his eyes nose mouth and all of that are going to go so I'm going to start off with a curved line from the top here going straight through and try to use the side of your pencil that does make the, the line a bit softer versus digging into your paper straight up. Okay, and then we're going to do a horizontal one this way. And now note that it's not exactly in the middle of your circle here, it's toward the bottom. So it's a little further down. And now for his eyes, we're gonna start with the right eye here. Well, his left, but we see it on the right. And we're just going to do a curved line upward from that horizontal one we did earlier. And just curve back down. And then same thing for this, but it's gonna be closer to the edge of your circle because his face is looking that way. Now for this eye, it's going to be a straight line down. And they're going to be ovals. They're going to be on the right side of each eye. And for his nose, we're going to just do a curved line right in the middle here. And it's going to run past your horizontal line slightly. We're going to do a little lump right here. And the same thing on this side, running up. And then another one. And this leads to his, his fur on the outside here. And we're going to begin with his nose here. I'm just going to pause on that fur for a second and just continue with this face. It's kind of an upside down triangle with a little curve or a 
actually more like an ice cream cone. It's going to be a curved line up. So he's smiling. And his mouth is open, so I'm going to just draw open mouth like so. Goes right back up to that curved line. So, showing this is his cheek. For his tongue, we'll just draw another line in here. Show he has a tongue in his mouth here. Okay, and now continuing where we left off with this fur, we're just going to do a series of points here. And if it does make it easier for you, you can always kind of indicate with little dots where you want the end of those little points to go. So if you kind of want to watch this step before you draw, you can. So I'm doing three dots and then curve toward it. And that's where the points are going to go. Okay. Curve back. Same thing for this one. Do you need to pause the video at any point feel free to do so there's no shame in doing so all right so we're going to stop this line right here because there's going to be some fur that kind of runs up into his face here so we're just going to continue on the left side here and now where you stopped this bump here that's not where the fur is going to continue we're going to start right by his face here up and if you want to do the same technique you can a few dots And now I know that his fur is going to kind of run past his arm here, so make sure to do this lightly because his arm is going to go over the fur, so we're going to do some erasing. And this one. Okay, and then let's get his chin in here just to complete his, the bottom of his head here. So where the end of his cheek is that we had drawn, we're going to draw a line up. Like so. And then from this point, we're going to draw his ear. So I'm just going to draw a little dot right up here, showing where the end of his ear is going to go. And from that point, just connect it. And then I want it to go here. So I'm going to curve. Like so. And then his second ear is going to start right about here. So I'm going to cut the top of his head. Same technique. I'm going to do dot right here. where your circle is we're just going to continue a small curve alongside that circle and then that's where your ear is going to connect now if you do want to adopt this method what I like to do with drawing is kind of tiny strokes as I'm going along the line versus just one full line it's a technique that does help give you more control with your pencil. You don't have to do that, but that's just something I like to do. All right, and then the inside of his ear, we're just going to follow that same shape. And then round out the corners on the bottom. And then connect it. Same thing on this side. And 
Now he does have triangles within his ears. I'm just gonna draw those real quick. And note that the triangle doesn't go to the corner here, it kind of stops a little higher than that. So we're just going to draw three little spikes that come out of his head here, for his hair. I'm going to kind of give them some edge here. They're not going to be completely smooth. So they're skinny when they approach his head here, then get wider as they go further out. Okay, then just continue this way. The third one. For his body, we're going to start with a curve right from his neck here. And work on his fur. And then from this curve, we're going to do one right next to it, like so. And then this is where I was talking about his fur kind of goes up into his face here down. If you want to do the point method, you can. And we're just going to follow the oval. stop toward the bottom here because we're going to continue into this leg so we're going to curve down we'll curve back up here and then continue to follow that oval and then we're going to make the little little s bend here all right and then for the inside inside of his tummy here Gonna curve up, then another S bend up here, connecting to his fur. All right, and then his other leg is gonna continue down. All right, so let's continue with his arm. So his arm is going to start right underneath the side of his fur here. kind of see why I drew that line because that's the inside of his arm. Then I'm just going to curve it like so and go straight back toward his body. And you can adjust lines as you go if you'd like, if you don't exactly like where the placement was. Again, those lines were just a guideline. All right. And I'm going to draw a curve like so because we're going to draw his glove. So it connects to his arm here, then just curves right around to his arm here. Since I went a little further, I'm going to erase that excess of line here. Okay. Then we'll just continue another curved line here, then a little bump. And now for the bottom of his glove, we're just going to do a curve from his arm right underneath that little loop here you drew. Alright, so for his second arm, we're going to follow that line as well. It continues right underneath his chin here, up. And now I like to make his arm go over his fur. You can keep the fur if you want to, but I'm just going to make it go over and then erase the points here. Draw the bottom of his arm. And just to give it more clarity, I'm going to go ahead and erase that now so you can see what I mean. So they're hidden behind his arm. All right, and then we'll draw a curved line to show his, his arm is going into his glove here. 
and then we'll get to drawing his hand. Okay. So same thing as what we did here. We'll curve around. Now this is going to be just a, a shape. Okay. And now for the top of his hand, I'm going to draw a line upward like that. And it's going to be kind of like stairs, okay? So we're going to draw his knuckles. Okay, and I'm just going to draw an oval to show that's where his finger is going. And you just draw a line up, follow that oval, curve back down. And then I'm just going to add a little curve here. And his thumb is hidden behind his hand because he's pointing. So we're just going to draw a curved line right around that finger there. And head straight back toward his wrist. Just curve up. I'm just going to add some detail here. And now for his shoes, we're going to start off with his socks. Same thing. Just curve right around his ankle here. Both sides. Okay. Same technique. And I'm just going to make a little S here. And this curves around and connects. All right, and then for his other foot, I'm going to curve around like so, and then do a little point here, and curve. And then we'll just follow that oval. You're not going to follow it entirely back up to his sock though, you're just going to head toward the other shoe. Same thing for this side, but we're going to do a little point here first, and then follow the oval. Now I'm making his shoe a bit bigger, because I just want it to be a little bigger. You can follow your oval if you want to, but if it does look too small, you can always just kind of veer off from it a bit. draw a curve on his shoe, showing that there was color change. And same thing on this side. Right, and then the sole of his shoes is going to kind of run the same shape as the bottom of his shoe here. Okay. Now it's not going to go completely around because it's kind of hidden behind his shoe, so where this line curves, you can just start off going a little further down and then wrap around to the left side. Okay, so let's get his tails in here because that's really what he's known for as tails. The right side first, I'm going to draw a circle. Just to kind of give me an idea of where I want his tail to curve around, okay? So I'm gonna start right by his hand and curve upward go around that circle and then stop right by his sock and then this is where the points come involved I'm going to do two points upward like so and I curve inward and then back up to the point curve back in And then there's going to be curve back toward his body to complete his tail. And now for the detail, they're just going to be a series of little, little spikes. All right. 
And then for the left side, I'm going to, it's gonna be a bit of a different shape, so I'm not gonna use a circle. I'm just gonna draw a line right out here. And then there's gonna be a curve from his glove here down. Goes past that, that line you drew earlier. And then we'll continue past his glove because it's behind his hand here. There's going to be a point there and then a point here. So we'll curve down like so. Connect to that point and then we'll head back down. And it's going to connect to his shoe here and be a, a bit of an S shape, okay? All right, and then the same thing like this tail, we're going to do a series of little spikes here. They don't all have to be the same. All right, so now that we've finished our sketch, I'm going to go ahead and erase the sketch lines and also darken the outlines. So you can either use the same pencil you're using or you can use a pencil pack like I have here and just use one with darker lead. Um, I'll put the link in the description box down below if you are interested in where I got this. But it is entirely okay to use the same pencil that you're using now and just press a bit harder with it in order to get those darker lines. And uh, with that said, uh, we'll be right back. Well, there you have it. Now you have your very own drawing of tails, so good job. And if it doesn't uh, look exactly how you want it to, do not feel bad. It does take practice in order to get a character looking the way you want it to. That's also speaking from personal experience. Um, but just keep at it and keep practicing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to give it a like as it helps my channel a lot. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, make sure to check out my direct channel as well for more tutorials and even speed drawings if you enjoy watching those. Feel free to comment down below and let me know if there's anything you specifically would like to see drawn in any future videos. Just make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon down below to be notified of those future videos. So as always, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in another video real soon.